what's up y'all welcome back to budget rebuild so first uh sorry for not putting out a video in a couple weeks we've been kind of busy um but i'm gonna go ahead and show you where we left off at we had just gotten all the body off on the uh 2016 street glide big wheel bagger we're building right now and off camera i've went ahead and mounted the uh air compressor for the air ride the air shocks the electronic center stand and our relays for it I'm just waiting on our handlebars to come back so that we can uh, get all the switches and wires cleaned up and ran, mounted everything right. And also waiting on our body to come back from paint. Um, and we have the 96 Heritage Softail Nostalgia. We're actually posting that up for sale if y'all are interested. Um, it is a, runs and drives good. Well, we think it drives good. It did last time it was ridden like six years ago. So we'll probably ride it in this video too. We got it running in the last one. Um, we just wiped it down. It's a two owner bike. My buddy bought it in 2003 with 5,000 miles on it. It's only got 13,000 miles on it now. He wants like 7,500 ish for it. So if you are interested, let us know. It is a clear title, not a salvage bike like normal. You know, this one's clear title, no, no stories on it. And last but not least, we are going to get back on our burnt bike finally. So, um probably a lot of new viewers since then but we left off where we just kind of mocked up the bike and uh we were building our 124 and found out that our 117 cylinders were too short so ordered 124 cylinders and after having sent them to like three different machine shops i finally got those back last week so i'm ready to go ahead and put those on there get the rest of the engine put together and at least set in the bike so that way then we can start running our new wiring and all of our other new stuff. And uh, I guess that's where we'll get started right now. We'll go ahead and try to start putting the motor back together. Okay, so all I have is my uh, rinky-dink Chinese piston ring compressors. Because I don't do this often. I don't need some high dollar kit. But uh, I actually don't remember which ones I used last. Trying to find the ones that got the most marks on it. Okay, so we've checked our ring gap on the front cylinder. It is perfect too. Let's lube her up. Oh, and before anybody says anything about it, you're supposed to use the ring that's on the piston, they are exactly the same. It's, this is a brand new set of rings on this piston and they're exactly the same. I've already checked it the first time with the first set of cylinders. Not that I know what I'm doing because I don't, but. So these rings that stick out, see the rings? Yeah. Well, here, it'll be easier if I show you. There's three rings, uh -huh. right, and they stick out where well, they're too wide. Oh, so you use that to close them together so mm -hmm. that you can slide it down? Yeah.
Okay, so last night, we, or yesterday, we left off trying to get the cylinders on. Obviously, I've gotten them on. And uh, we didn't film it because there's a lot of cuss words and stuff. It, went, it was pretty bad. What I finally figured out is my cheap Chinese piston ring installers, where they tack weld the, the ends of it on, they had big ridges in there so the rings couldn't slide past it. So after I cussed it, cussed it, cussed it, I went ahead and filed all that off and got them on there, finally. So with that being said, we got our new head gaskets on, cylinders are on, and we'll go ahead and throw our heads on there and get them torqued up. According to S&S, let's see, this is the rear head, cam side, so I go one, two, three, four, stage one, I do eight foot pounds. Let me run these things down first. I'm just gonna easily run these things down. Eight foot pounds. Let's see, eight foot pounds. Then we do 90 degrees or one quarter turn. Now we can go ahead and do our front head. All right, now I'm going to 18 foot-pounds again. 15, 16, 17. All right, now I go 90 degrees. So I was hoping to get the valve cover gaskets on, but I, or rocker covers, whatever. Um, I forgot to get gaskets for it. So we'll go ahead and get these polished up and uh, we're waiting on the rocker covers. We'll get all that installed with our push rods and everything in the next one and then hopefully get it in the bike. I was hoping to do that now, but it's not happening, obviously. And the next video, I promise we'll at least get the motor set in there. Then hopefully we start working on wiring, get the stuff sent off to paint, but we'll tackle all that as it comes along. Thanks again for watching our videos. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.